Welcome to the 2022 International Conference on Materials, Chemistry and Environmental Engineering. My name is Ivo Ganchev and I'm a lecturer at Queen Mary University of London. It is a great pleasure to see so many scholars and practitioners at different stages of their careers come together to exchange ideas and insights as well as share their latest research findings with the academic community. This conference seeks to produce contributions in fields of study which impact both the development of scientific research and key sectors of the economy such as construction. It seeks to encourage communication and collaboration in two fields which will be increasingly important as we're facing a global environmental threat, namely materials chemistry and environmental engineering. Material science provides the fundamentals of our knowledge about materials that are used to build the world around us. So new discoveries in this field can have a profound impact on the physical buildings and objects surrounding our daily life. For instance, recent developments in the field of uh, graphene enhanced concrete could enable new possibilities in the architecture and construction sector. Environmental engineering is uh, also becoming increasingly important in the context of global warming and rising sea levels. This field can produce new engineering solutions which will be key to addressing large challenges in waste management, pollution control and other fields that will allow us to transition to a more sustainable mode of development. When we began organizing this conference, we hoped that the uh, COVID-19 pandemic would be completely under control by now and that we would be able to travel and hold the conference in person in Stanford, California. However, given the current circumstances, we decided to shift to convene it virtually. I'm very glad to share with you that today we have an outstanding panel of keynote speakers, all of whom are senior scholars and global leaders in their fields. It's a pleasure to first introduce Marty McLaughlin, uh, who is a professor of thin films, interfaces, and electronic devices at the Department of Materials at Imperial College London. Professor McLaughlin is also the current director of the EPSRC SFI funded Center for Doctoral Training in the Advanced Characterization of Materials and he's also the Deputy Senior Tutor for the Faculty of Engineering. His research focuses on deriving an understanding of the relationships between composition, structure, and processing in solution processable electronic materials. Of particular interest to him are the roles of defects, electronic and structural, on measured device and thin film characteristics. He has more recently developed activities based on interfacial and near interfacial um, characterization and perovskite solar cells deriving a fundamental understanding of structure processing property relationships in these materials with the objective of targeting inherent instabilities and lifetime issues. He has published over 130 peer-reviewed papers with a very high average impact factor in the area of materials chemistry and has two patent filings. We will also hear from Anthony De Chiara, a Weyerhaeuser Endowed Associate Professor at the University of Washington. Dr. De Chiara is um, uh, focused on researching uh, every aspect related to the sustainable design and engineering of advanced materials from the synthesis and characterization of innovative uh, biosource nanoparticles to their assembly both in the laboratory and large-scale facilities into multifunctional composites with exceptional performance in catalytic, environmental and electronic applications. His research includes over 50 peer-reviewed publications in very high-impact journals 
five journal covers, one book chapter, and five patents and disclosures, with two being licensed for commercial purposes. Professor De Chiara will speak to us about cellulose-based flexible materials for emerging multifunctional liquid sensing. Of course, I would also like to thank all of the other excellent speakers and participants who would be too many to mention here. We hope that this conference will provide all of you an excellent opportunity to learn from each other in your pursuit of further developing your work. The interest in this conference and the number of submissions we received has been overwhelming and it has served as a testament that this is indeed a timely moment to hold these types of discussions. We look forward to holding our conference again next year and for many more years to come. We wish you the best and please enjoy the conference.